Hey y'all, I'm Mickey Gousset, and welcome to this next edition of DevOps Bytes. Again, we're still focusing on GitHub projects, and in this one, I just want to show you pretty quickly how you can create different views of your projects. So here's my project board. So I can come in here, and one of the things I can do is change the name of, 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 your, of any view by just clicking in there and changing the name. So we'll call this my table view, for lack of a better word. Now, if I want to take the data that's in this view and maybe look at it in a different way, I can do that by clicking New View. And when I click New View, I could either duplicate the existing view I have, or I could create a brand new table view. And if I created a brand new table view, you can see it doesn't have the extra fields initially that I've added to it. It just has the title, the assignee, and the status. If I don't want this view anymore, I can simply come in here and I can delete it. I can create a new view that's a board view. Now this is kind of your, your Kanban view where you're specifying that you wanna view this stuff in a board view based off of a column. By default, it uses the status column, but maybe I wanna use my priority column. So now you can see, I can see a view of all of my issues based off of priority, or maybe I want to view off of iteration, and I can see a view off of my iteration. I kind of like the view off of priority, so we'll go with that. You can see I can also control the field, uh, I can control fields, I can control uh, grouping other stuff as well, generating charts, all the stuff you could off all the other ones. But in general, for the most part, this is a great view for people that are used to using more of a Kanban type of way of working. I can also create a view. Now, don't forget, when you do create a new view, you want to remember to click the Save button. Because if you don't click the Save button, it's not going to do you any good. Now, what's nice about the Kanban view board is let's say I move this over into Medium. So I've now changed the priority of this to medium. And if I go back to my table view, you'll see that it's reflected there. It was changed to medium. We'll change my fourth issue back to, lo back to low. And you'll see that it changed it back to low. The third way you have a view, so you have the spreadsheet way, the table way of viewing the data. You have, let's rename this. We'll call this my Kanban priority view. And then finally, the other view you have is a roadmap view. And the roadmap view allows you to specify date fields. So we'll say we'll start iteration start and iteration end. And allows me to see my issues based off of the iteration that they've been assigned to. So we'll call this the roadmap view. And let's save that change. So there you go. We've got three different ways of being able to view and slice and dice and work with the data in our project board. All right, if you've liked this quick little hit, I would love it if you'd like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, all of these things help drive the YouTube algorithm. Also, feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this format and what other kind of videos or information you'd like to learn about. Thanks for watching.